Good evening. I'm calling to order the June 16th, 2020 board work session. Uh, any board committee reports? Uh, nope. We'll have a finance report after we have a result. All right. Awesome. <laughs> any other board committee reports? Is there a superintendent's report this evening? Just briefly. Um, Good evening, everyone. I just wanted to uh, let everybody know who may be viewing that uh, we uh, did have our first ever Zoom community meeting around our technology study. That was last Wednesday night, and that was live, very well attended, over 100 people tuned in. A lot of good information about our technology program here. So you can find that on our website and uh, watch the, whole, the, the event uh, in, in recorded uh, version. Um, I have to give a big shout out to our seniors. Um, Saturday, uh, most of the day Saturday, we had a drive-through diploma parade and it was just incredible. One of those very heartwarming moments. Um, our seniors, we really got to celebrate them and uh, our staff was cheering them on. And I just have to thank our high school staff who worked so hard to put all of that together and um, our families for coming out and making it a special day, celebrating their seniors as they graduated, they got their diplomas. We will have on the 26th and in the uh, late afternoon, early evening, a socially distanced graduation. Uh, we're excited about that. We'll have an actual sort of commencement ceremony under the tent outdoors uh, in accordance with the governor's guidelines. I just wanna let everybody know that uh, re-entry planning for the fall is already well underway and we have committees working hard on that and we'll keep updates coming. And uh, that's really it for this week in terms of uh, superintendent's report. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. Well. Votes are currently being tallied in our budget and budget vote and trustee election, and they're still being tallied. So we are going to take a break to finalize the tally count, and we are going to come back into public session at 9 p.m. Hopefully the budget and uh, trustee vote will be fully tallied by then. You can watch online via the district website at the top pink bar. Um, click on the link and watch the tallying live and hopefully we'll be able to announce the results and certify the election when we return. So do I need a motion? Move to adjourn until nine o'clock. Second? Second. Okay. Second. Moved by Rob, seconded by Steve. All in favor? Yep. Any opposed? We have a unanimous vote. See you all back here at 9 p.m. Yep. Great. I think we're all here. Can I get a motion? to return to public session. So moved. Okay, moved by seconded. Steve and seconded by Sally. All in favor? Any opposed? Okay, unanimously, we are back in public session. So I'm going to, to move the resolution and then Jeanette, would you want to read the results after I move it? Sure. Okay. Okay, we ready? Yes. Be it, let me just read, be it resolved that the Board of Education hereby certifies the results of the June 16th, 2020 election as follows. Okay, we have 1,507 yes votes and we have 1,176 no votes. All right. Yay. Yay. Okay, and we have the district totals for the um, Trustee elections, Vito Catania, 2,195. Judah Holstein, 2,153. Rob Summer, 2,146. Congratulations. And we have many write-ins that we're gonna have to Yeah, compile. we have many write-ins. We'll compile the list and they'll appear on the next, uh, on the minutes accordingly. Okay, great. Uh, but no write-ins with 2,200. <laughs> How many people voted? Uh, we had a total, hold on, the total vote, well, the total, it was, we received 3,030 and we were able to count 2,683. And what happened to the other 350? They were invalidated for various reasons, not sealed, not signed, um, we okay. were not legible, didn't follow instructions, didn't complete, put the ballot in the appropriate envelopes. And how many do you have left? Just curious. What do you mean? To verify, you said you have some. some we have none left. We verified. This is done. No, no, the no. Only no. Thing we have you just the write-ins. The write-ins, yeah. Right, but there was, was not. We didn't have. 
two thousand for one name. So we're good. Oh, you mean write in for for a trustee? Correct. Yes. I got you. I'm sorry. I thought you meant absentees or whatever that you still had a check. No problem. Yep. You had a few write ins. No big deal. Right. Uh, somebody's asking that the numbers be repeated in terms of, I guess, for, well, I guess, repeat all the numbers. Michael. All right. Why don't I do the motion again? Be it resolved that the Board of Education hereby certifies the results of the June 16th, 2020 election as follows. On the budget vote, yes, 1,507. No, 1,176. For the trustee votes, Vito Catania, 2,195. Judah Holstein, 2,153. Rob Summer, 2,146. Dean, your second. We received 3,030 ballots and 2,683 were countable. I need a second. Judah? I will second. Any, any more discussion or questions? Discussion, I just want to thank everybody for their efforts in, you know, in tallying the votes as hard as it was and as difficult mm -hmm. as it was. And thank everybody who took the time to vote, even though it was, didn't really take that much time this year. Yeah, thank you to everyone who voted. It was huge. Uh, last year, we had roughly five, just under 600 votes, I believe. Um, for in our election. <clears throat> so just as a reminder, last year we had 364 vote in favor of the budget and three, 234 voted against it. So a huge uh, difference in numbers. So thank you to everyone who came out and thanks to the election inspectors um, and election supervisors for working very diligently today um, in the high school cafeteria at a social distance to get this to to get these results to us. Yeah, I mean, I would just second the, to the community, thank you for voting and supporting our budget. Uh, Jeanette, you did a bang up job getting this all done. I know it you know, was yeoman's work getting it all done on time. Great like job. <laughs> no, no, this was a group effort. These were, these were my partners all day long. So definitely a group effort. Well, you guys did a great job getting it counted and getting it done and, you know, but putting it together is obviously a big job. And, and so thank you for that. And thank you to the community. Did they vote? Did they vote? I believe yes. Okay, we do. We have to vote. All right, are we ready? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So happy mm. to have the budget vote successfully behind us. Thank you. Um, we have time for comments from the board. One of the other questions was the 347 not counted. Do we want to clarify the reasons? Because there's a, there's a question about that not being legible. I think there's other reasons than legibility. Correct. There were, if they weren't sealed, they had to be sealed. They, if they were not sealed, they were invalidated. Um, if they did not have a signature, um, if they were not um, registered, they weren't registered, if they weren't registered, and so signature, and so, oh, they didn't follow the instructions, like they either um, defaced the ballot by writing things other than their selections. Um, some people wrote notes, um, some people wrote their opinions, <laughs> um, little comments here and there. Um, if they didn't put the ballot in the envelope. Right, if they didn't place the ballot within the oath envelope and seal it, some people just put the ballot in the envelope and sent it in, those were invalidated. So there was a variety of reasons. We had about six buckets with different reasons and the lead inspector sat and reviewed every in, each and every individual one to determine whether or not they'd be uh, valid or invalid. And they were determined whether they were valid or invalid before anybody knew what the vote was, obviously. Correct, that's what we were waiting for. They had to do right. that last batch. Right. Cheryl, your post only went to panelists. Oh, yeah. Sorry. But it was a good job explaining what, what, what the reasons were, so. <laughs> can you, uh, I can make it public, right? Let me copy and paste. Yeah, just, and then yeah, just instead of all down. panelists, change it to all panelists and attendees. I overviewed the reasons. All panelists and attendees, thank you so much. I overviewed the reasons that Jeanette gave for um, reasons that the ballots were invalidated. There was a variety. I think I got most of them. We did have quite a number of un 
invalid ballots. Any other comments or, from the board? Comments? Uh, yeah, can I comment on, yes. on something else? So I was saying before, I, I want to commend Jeff and the staff and, 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 and they, everyone really did a great job. Thank you to the board members that came out. The graduation really was, the call parade really was fantastic. It was well put together, well executed. I think regular graduations are going to be anticlimactic for these kids uh, because they, I thought that, that Jeff and the team and the staff that came out, and there were a lot of staff that came out, they really did a great job uh, putting that together and executing it. Uh, they were on time, <laughs> uh, which was amazing. And I know, you know, Jeff and Dr. Glass and others spent the whole day out there. So thank you very much. But the kids, I think really, the, all the feedback that I saw was really positive. Uh, the signs along 22 that would, from the PTA really was a nice touch. Uh, I, I just, everything about it, I thought was really well done and well executed. And I think it will be something that the kids really will remember and is different, you know? I mean, it, 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 I think it was a positive in that regard. Yeah, it turned out to be a real positive. The weather was just perfect. I was able to be there for the first half in the morning and it just was a, such a joyful kind of occasion. Who was the math teacher giving cannolis? Giving out cannolis to the his ballet. <laughs> It was just fun okay. and seeing the different, the cars decorated. Um, it really went flawlessly at, from my perspective as a participant. So congratulations, Rob, to your son who's graduating and to all of our graduates. And of course, we're looking forward to our in-person graduation ceremonies in two shifts on the original graduation date of June 26th, following the new guidelines. Do we have exact times on that yet? Rob, I, I'm asking Dr. Glass if he has the times for graduation yet. I hadn't heard that they had been fixed. Yeah, I don't have exact times. I think the original okay. time was six. So I'm okay. guessing it's probably something like three and six. Okay. Or maybe, Thank you. Know, you. 3.30 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Any other comments from board members? No one here. Right. Well, on that happy, happy note, thank you to the community. Thank you everyone for coming out. Thank you to our election inspectors once again um, for working so hard to get these results to us and we're done before 10 o'clock. Yeah. I move yeah. to adjourn. Thank you. I second. Second, okay, second, who, who seconded it? I did. Okay, Rob moved to adjourn, Judah seconded it. All in favor? Yo. It's passed everyone. unanimously. Good night, everybody. Thank you so Good much. Night. Good night, Thank everyone. You. Congratulations. Yay. Oh.